Hi everyone, it's Michael Krulik, video product evangelist for Avid with the new edition of What's New in Avid Media Composer. This time we're taking a look at Media Composer 2019.12, a brand new release with some great features, so let's take a look. So the first thing I want to start out with is something we've added with the Inspector tool. Now the Inspector tool, you know, is a way to take a look at metadata while keeping, you know, your frames and information. It's contextual where you can go in and what you select, you'll actually see the information in your metadata here. Let me go ahead and just dock that. But we did have an issue where if you did a multiple select of clips, the metadata that you were getting here was actually only showing the first clip in that group of elements. So with 2019.12, you'll see if I select multiple clips, we actually get information in the inspector tool which tells us that there are multiple values. It's a multiple selection of your, your clips or whatever information you're taking a look at. But the nice thing is if you want to go in and make a change, like maybe change the color of all of the clips you've selected, I can simply do that by selecting right here. That's awesome. Besides being able to go in and change color, you can also change any text for any editable field. And that will be applied to any of the selected items. We recently added the ability to link to OpenEXR Media. But I'm happy to announce that with 2019.12, we can actually export in the OpenEXR High Dynamic Range raster file format. You can choose your color model, color bit depth, 16-bit half or 32-bit full float, different compression, actually the digits in your file name, so you can actually choose how many digits you'd like to have in the file name and your start index, and create a subfolder where you want to place your open EXR files. And there you go. Now being able to encode OpenEXR Media directly out of Media Composer is fantastic, but we also need to be able to support the different color spaces around HDR as well. So we do have the ability, and we put this into Media Composer a while ago, to support several different color spaces, including ACES, the Academy Color Encoding System. But with version 2019.12 of Media Composer, you'll see in the output color spaces that we've added additional support for P3 D65 DCI 48 nits, as well as ACES 2065. So now more options for being able to work fully ACES capable throughout the entire editorial process. This also includes being able to send any of your HDR metadata to your output device. Media Composer will automatically set your monitor to the proper color space by selecting the desired transfer function and the DNxIQ, DNxIV, or DNxID will set your monitor to match. Now an area that we continue to improve on is the Avid Titler Plus. I am in a workspace now, the default for edit. I actually created a new workspace called Titles, which gives me a larger canvas to work on with the record monitor when I am creating a title. I'm going to go into mark an in and an out, hit the Avid Titler Plus, and it brings up the mini menu. I do want to point out that this is not an error. It's actually giving me an instant indicator that the edge and the frame selections are not active. So it actually blocks out that area. A really nice improvement. You'll also see some other additions in the mini menu. The lower left hand corner we have parameters that you can save as defaults and load at any point if there is a font and a font style that you like. And we also have the safe title and safe video grid. And you can also navigate to your different layers if you have shapes and different titles. And you can actually use these buttons here to move back and forth between the different layers. Now I want to go in and create a little title for my travel video here. I go ahead and hit the T. I get an I beam now to be able to position where my title is going to be placed. I'm going to call my little piece here boarding pass. And I'm going to select the bounding box and change the size of it by just dragging out here. Or again, I could do it in the mini menu or the effect editor. We'll go ahead and bold that as well. Great. Now I want to change the font style. Something we added in the new version of Media Composer is when I move through my list, we actually see the font in the record window when I'm creating it. This is a great way to visually see the actual font style on my video. So we'll change that to American Typewriter. We'll change the color to be yellow. Great. Now another enhancement that we made to the Avid Titler Plus is being able to add a video fill to the titles that you create. 
Now if I step into this title, you'll see that the title is made up of the video fill and the background. Now I have some drone footage of these treetops here that I want to take and apply to the boarding pass title. So I'm going to mark the video fill and drop the treetops into that. So when I step back out, well, you currently aren't seeing it because by default, the video fill is not enabled. So when I go into the effect editor for the title, by default, you'll see that the foreground video fill opacity is set to zero. By simply taking that and dragging it to 100%, you see the effect of the video fill now happening within the title. Well, that's a wrap with what's new in Avid Media Composer. Thanks for joining me, and if you haven't tried Avid Media Composer, feel free to download a 30-day free trial at avid.com slash mediacomposer. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.